Hello viewers, this is attorney Naresh Gehi and today you're watching uh, this show regarding the coronavirus. And uh, firstly, I hope your family is safe and uh, I wish you the very best during this uh, sad time of our lives. Uh, this is history in the world, but then we've come across a time where we've been facing these difficult issues dealing with coronavirus. And my prayers, my good wishes are with each one of you. So today's show, is mainly about the implications of the coronavirus upon immigration matters. So immigration and the coronavirus, how things have changed. So the very first thing is that uh, we are fully functional in a sense that we've been handling a lot of cases remotely. So please do not think that our office is closed, especially when it comes to emergency clients, which means that if you have a deadline or if you're about to, if your visa is about to expire, if you're in a critical situation, like your loved one is in detention, we are handling those cases remotely at this time. So let's shoot with the headlines and we are going to have regular shows. The purpose of these regular shows is to keep our viewers fully updated as to what's going on with the coronavirus. And the good news is that I am on Zoom and you're also going to get my Zoom ID very soon so that we can all start talking on Zoom and we'll be having regular interactive shows with our viewers on Zoom from next week. So now what's happening this week? Let's go slowly and talk about the changes that have occurred in the world of immigration after the coronavirus has set in. Now people are worried, they're scared. So the very first thing is that immigration came up, came up with the rule that if you had your request for evidence, and it was between March and May. So from March 1st until May, May 1st. So you don't have to worry, especially because you're getting an extension of time for, for 60 days. So you're getting a 60 day extension in order for you to actually apply. And you know, if you're late. Now let's take a simple example that you got your RFE on the 20th of March. And at this stage, you're worried because your employer is not cooperating, or if you're in a situation, but then you're married to an American citizen, you don't have the documents in order. Uh, we've been handling all those cases even right now. And uh, if you're in that vulnerable situation, uh, first thing is that it would be good for you to have a lawyer, uh, because you know things can really, really become complicated during these difficult days of life. So what should you do? First thing is that you have the two-month window for you to straighten up if you cannot submit your request for evidence on time. Now, what I would do in the meanwhile, I would definitely make best efforts to ensure that I'm going to do everything with reference to my RFE and make sure that it's submitted on time. And uh, as I said, uh, you can call our number, which is 718-263-5999, 718-263-5999, because we've been helping a lot of people remotely with their request for evidences in marriage-based immigration cases, in H-1B situations, in labor certification cases, and every type of RFEs at the stage. Uh, because of course, like, uh, you know, we are very kind of uh, uh, decently tech savvy. So we are making sure that, uh, you know, we are working and we are helping a lot of people who are in emergency at this, uh, at, at, at this particular moment, uh, you know, which is kind of very critical, uh, especially when it comes to immigration. So we spoke about RFEs. So to sum it up about RFEs, so if your RFE was from March 1st, and if it expires until, and if you, until May 1st, and if you got an RFE during that particular period of time, so the good news is that you'll have 60 more days, but make sure that you submit your documents. And you can specifically mention that the delay is attributed because of the coronavirus, COVID-19. So experienced lawyers know how to handle those situations. So make sure you do that. Point number two. So electronic signatures in most instances are temporarily acceptable. So how does our law firm handle cases at this stage? We've been handling a lot of cases remotely uh, wherein clients are signing and they're scanning documents and sending it to my law firm. And what we are doing, we are putting the package together, we are mailing it out, or we are sending it to our clients like who are retaining us and they are mailing it out. So that is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, it's everyone will have to work together 
during this critical period. So which means we all have to work together. We have to make sure that we go ahead with our best foot forward. And uh, there's a saying in English that when the great get going, the going gets great. Do not be depressed. You know, as I said, fortune always favors the brave. And you are brave. You just need to be kind of, I know it's difficult, especially if you, know, you have these visa problems, you're concerned, you're kind of very much worried. For example, even if you're married to, uh, to an American citizen, you're, you're on a visitor's visa, or if you are in the middle of an H-1B, you've got this RFE, or if you're going to get be laid off from your job. So we're going to break down uh, you know, the, my shows into different segments. So we're going to talk clearly to people about their particular situations. And I've been getting a lot of questions at info at gaylaw.com as to how I need to uh, you know, resolve my situation. It's I-N-F-O, info at gaylaw, G-E-H-I-L-A-W.com. And we are still fully functional uh, remotely in terms of our clients. So we spoke about what's happening with uh, RFEs, that's request for evidence. And secondly, we spoke about electronic signatures. Uh, you know, for some time, there's a window, uh, thanks to immigration for giving us that window so that we can actually submit papers for you. Now, the third important thing we need to know is people like who are waiting for their work permits. Now, this applies to people who applied, you know, after March 18th. So if you have applied for your work permit after March 18th, now what is the most important thing for you to know? Now you applied for your work permit and what immigration is going to do so that you don't have to panic, they're going to use your old biometrics. Now, if they use your old biometrics, the good thing is that you do not have to show up at a particular uh, fingerprinting center from immigration. So you don't have to go for biometrics and that's going to be kind of very helpful. Thank God that everyone is cooperating uh, you know, during this critical stage. Now, the third important thing, which we've been getting a lot of calls, we've been helping a lot of people, is in connection with people who have the deportation hearings. We've been handling deporting, deportation cases from all over the United States. Now, we've been getting calls from people who actually have a hearing date before the immigration judge, We've been getting calls from people who have master calendar hearings. We've been getting calls from people whose nears and dears are actually detained in immigration jails in the country. So if you are in that situation, right now, the immigration court is only dealing with the detained calendar, which means emergency cases, wherein people are actually in immigration detention. And if you know anyone who's in immigration jail, we can try. I cannot promise you, but we can try for parole and we can try for bond. And if you get a good judge and if your case or your, your friend's case or someone's case has good merit, then we should be able to you know, try to get them out on bond. So these are the few things which are happening right now and in terms of immigration. And this show is mainly about what is happening in immigration with the coronavirus. So we're going to have some more shows, one after another. And this program, Green Card with Gehi, will keep you informed in connection with the changes that will be coming from immigration, especially with, uh, with regard to the coronavirus. So this is attorney Naresh Gehi. Yes, we are accepting cases. And our phone number is 718-263-5999. And uh, you can call us, or you can also send us an email at info at gehilaw.com. And you can also use a Zoom ID if you want to Zoom us, and we'll try our best to get back with you. Plus, do not forget to, to send us your phone number and your email address. And especially, I know that a lot of people will be reaching me via email. And because of uh, the COVID problem, I'm also going to share my personal email address, which is nmgehi, n-m-g-e-h-i, at gehilaw.com, g-e-h-i-l-a-w.com, nmgehi at gehilaw.com. And uh, this is attorney Noresh Gehi. The instant program 
constitutes an attorney advertisement. Prior results do not guarantee future outcome, and we handle immigration cases from all over the United States and the world, and we are functioning uh, during the COVID crisis, and we are still helping the, the immigrant community. Thank you, folks, and we'll be back again with some more videos shortly.